here we have three beautiful, delicious butterball turkeys. I have three of them, about 10 pounds each, and no freezer space. What am I going to do? Stick around and I'll show you what I'm going to do, guys. Let's get started. Two's going to go in my roaster and one in my crock pot. to be doing guys is we're going to be putting it in this humongous uh, electric roaster uh, as you can see the name brand of it hopefully you can see it's a, a oyster and it's a 22 quart it will hold two 10 pound turkeys the high temperature is all the way at 450 degrees so if this roaster uh, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out. I got it on Amazon and uh, it comes with a rack like this. I'm going to put it in low and it goes like this so that you can, when you put it in, you can easily pull out you know, your product. The inside of the turkey is going to cook. I'll know it's done when it reaches 165 degrees. Even though I'm going to process them a little bit more once they're done, I'm going to can them and then I'll show you that process a little bit separately. So now I'm gonna do my turkeys the way that I normally do them when I do my turkeys. In the oven, I start them out on the breast and I'm probably going to leave them on the breast on here because that's where most of the meat is. So I'm gonna put my turkeys in, I guess you could say upside down. <laughs> Upside down, there you go, bad boy. And then this one is gonna go upside down in the opposite direction. So one going one way and one going the other way. And they have plenty of room, plenty of room. They don't like to go on their belly, guys, because their bellies are so fat. <laughs> the first one got in really nicely on his belly. I'm only gonna put a minimal seasoning because, um, you know, depending on what I use the turkey for, I'm going to be adding more seasonings to it along the way. I'm not measuring. This is garlic powder, smoked paprika, and then this is kosher salt uh, for canning. Don't forget guys, we have two 10 pound turkeys in there. Here I will add my one cup of turkey broth. Give you a better view. Uh, that's the turkey inside of the crock pot. Using the same seasoning, I used garlic powder, smoked paprika, salt, and a half a cup of turkey broth. It is now about 12 hours later, and our two turkeys are done, guys. They are done. Look at them. They look delicious. I want to eat them right now. <laughs> These turkeys are so tender, using two spoons, I can't lift it out without them just falling apart. Okay, it's cooled down enough that I can touch the handles on both sides here. And here is our two turkeys. See the steam coming off of them? The broth created from uh, roasting this turkey overnight, I will be using that along with some additional uh, turkey broth to can our turkeys in. This turkey is absolutely delicious. I'm going to add in the broth up to the one inch mark on pint sized jars and I was able to get 14 pints from the two turkeys that I roasted which was a, a great yield. Now let's get the crock pot turkey ready. I noticed that it is lighter in color and it's a little more moist than the uh, roasted turkeys. I was only able to get six pints compared to seven pints from the roasted uh, turkeys, but I'm happy with what I got. And all guys, I was able to pull 20 pints of turkey. Can you see how tender that is? That is tender. Look at this. Look at that. It's tender. Now I'm going to break this down, uh, take it off the bone. So that's why I'm not so worried about it falling apart. 
you can cook it for less hours than I did. I cooked mine, I think, for about at least 14 hours. Uh, as long as your internal temperature is at 165, you know when it's done. So um, I'm going to can this also, just like I did the uh, two turkeys that I roasted. I'm anticipating approximately six jars. Using the 22-quart roaster, I'm going to use all the bones and the carcass from the three turkeys that I can to make turkey broth. Into the pot you go. Oops, I dropped it. And turkey necks, and, I mean the yeah, turkey necks and all of that. This is going to make beautiful and a really nice jar of chicken of uh, turkey broth. I use turkey broth just about like I, I use chicken broth. So nothing is going to waste here. Okay, nothing is going to waste. I'm gonna put in all my goodies here, guys. I have carrots, like I said, and bell pepper. We're gonna put celery in here and lots of onion. Just pour it in, and you just rough cut it. You don't have to worry about, you know, like the onion. See, just put it in like that. You can even put it in whole. It's not going to hurt it. Now, um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in another location uh, that I'm going to plug it in. So I'm going to add my water to it at that location so that I don't have to carry the whole thing around. So I'm going to fill it all the way up uh, to the tops. We're going to get a lot of broth out of this in a couple of days. I'll show you what it all looks like. I was able to get seven wide mouth paint size jars on the bottom level and also with an additional rack I got seven more on top. After a continuous 10 minute flow of steam from my vent I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes and that's when we'll start the actual canning process. Timer went off. I'm going to put my weight on here and I'm just going to put it on top of here and then now we're going to monitor that and watch it go to we want to get it at 10 and I like to hold it at 10. Now these are pint sized jars so therefore we're going to pressure cook them for 75 minutes. My gauge is at about 11. I try to keep it about 10 or 11 so what we're going to do now, so you can see the gauge on here, if you have one of these canners, see it's at about 11. So I want to keep it right around there, 10 or 11, for 75 minutes. Then I will turn it off. I won't move the canner. I'll wait for everything to cool down. I will wait until the gauge is all the way back down over here to zero. And the little nibbler in the back there that I showed you in the beginning is down. And also this is down. And um, then after everything is cooled down, then I will take my weighted, uh, my weight off. But the 10 pound weight to hold it at uh, 10 pounds, 10, 11 pounds. Everything has cooled down at zero. It's been sitting for at least an hour So now I can take them out of the canner. I'm going to put them beautiful turkey. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't it gorgeous? You can see inside if you can see it's still kind of boiling inside. Take my double lid off. I just want to show you that no matter what time of the year you can always have turkey you can make turkey casseroles, turkey tacos, turkey and dressing, <laughs> and you don't have to worry about refrigeration. No freezer space, put it on your shelf and you're good to go. I will let them sit on the counter here overnight. Don't disturb them. Tomorrow morning I'll wash the lids down, take the, the caps off of them, and put them on my shelf and have it ready for long-term storage. Our turkey and our turkey broth all done. Thank you for joining me today.